Hello, and in this screencast I want to show how Apache ISIS makes it easy for you to write integration tests for your uh, application. Um, so let's have a look at the feature we're going to test. So I'm going to set up a couple of domain objects using a fixture script. I can go to the first of these objects and I can delete it. But then if I go to the second object, then that uh, has been disabled. So uh, fixtures, uh, integration tests use fixture scripts. So um, we'll be able to reuse a lot of that same setup. I've taken the liberty of uh, creating an outline integration test. Let's quickly review it. So I'm injecting the fixture script service that the framework provides. I've also got the simple objects uh, domain service, which I'll be using couple of fields for the two objects I'll be creating and in the setup I'm going to be actually running the fixture script and getting hold of those objects and so my two tests are that if there are some left I can delete the object and if there are no left then I can't so let's write the first test so when I go to the first simple object and I invoke delete then um, I should find that simple objects dot list all dot size is uh, equal to one happy days all worked and then with the next one if I this time I want to say that's part of my given given I've only got now one object I suppose I could demonstrate that by uh, putting that there when I then go to delete the second object well it shouldn't be allowed right so the way I want to express that is I want to say I'm expecting an exception and uh, what the framework does it will throw an exception to basically uh, simulate or to explain that um, fact that the action has been disabled so I want to be saying expected exceptions dot expect um, a disabled exception to have been thrown now as I've written it this might look correct but um, in fact what we need to do is we need to give the framework an opportunity to uh, intercept the interaction so this delete action um, you can see we have the supporting method and that's actually the functionality I'm trying to uh, exercise and so the way in which we do this is we um, we wrap the domain object and this uh, returns a wrapper um, like a proxy really and in fact it's good practice to to do this everywhere in in the system even if you if you wanted to you could do it on the um, the injected domain services itself so um, with the following wind this test should hopefully pass this is actually running up the application as you can see and that's tested all the way through and I've done all my testing that's an integration test I've actually gone through the user interface through the wrapper I've interacted with the business object uh, business logic and um, we've we've made changes to the, to the back-end database so that's um, how we we go about uh, writing integration tests in Apache ISIS as ever um, try it out give it a go see how you get on thanks